Hello everyone, it's Yvonne here to do a very special reading. We're doing the love readings for 2021 and Gemini, this is yours. Now, I haven't put any haven't put any provisions on this. Whether you are in a relationship, married, single, this relationship may or may not be for you. Some of the readings have been incredibly specific and others have been very general. So I will leave that up to you. Okay. If the reading doesn't resonate with you, make sure you check out other aspects of your natal chart. If you would like a personal reading with me, all of my details are below. If the reading does resonate with you, make sure you give it a big fat thumbs up and thank you in advance. Um, we're going to use the Connolly Tarot for your reading. And this reading will be for the year of 2021. So for some people it may have already commenced. Others of you it may not happen till later in the year. But if I can try and give you some idea of when it's coming in, I will read that. All right, Seven of Wands coming through. Now I immediately want to say here, with the Seven of Wands, it's a card of not giving up. It's a card of stubbornness, standing your ground, fighting against things and not giving up. Sometimes, though, with this card, the negative aspect is you sometimes fighting or trying to control things that you need to let go of. And that's what I feel here. Gemini, it's like you're trying to control something that you either need to let go of or you need to understand you can't control it. So whether this is trying to control another person, whether it's trying to control your life, you need to let up, you need to ease up and you need to allow the universe to take you in the direction it needs to go in. Could have something to do with a Cancer, Pisces or Scorpio here with this Queen of Cups. Maybe you're fighting for someone that you want to keep. Um, Maybe you're not wanting to let someone go or you're fighting to keep someone in your life here. Let's just have a bit more look. Yeah, so you're not letting go. Okay, four of pentacles coming through. Okay, knight of swords. All right, star. Okay, what I see for you, Gemini, is this year you are starting the year on perhaps moving away from something that no longer serves you. The universe is calling you away from something that perhaps has done its time. What that means is it's sort of gone past its use by date. So there's this energy of whatever this is, it's time to let go and move forward. I feel that this has something to do with a Cancer, Pisces or Scorpio. Someone who's very loving and kind, but I feel that perhaps something has happened between you and this person because you're still hanging on to some sort of memory, past energy that needs to move. There has been some sort of truth come in here, something that will make you understand if it hasn't come through yet, make you understand that this is your destiny here. So whatever you've learned in this past situation or this past relationship is there, yes, we have the judgment card, is there to rebirth you. It was there to teach you. But I strongly feel like you've either stuck with this for too long um, and you're fighting still to hang on to something that really is not right for you anymore. All right, let's have a look and see where we're going. All right, so I have the hanged man coming through. This is good news because it says to me that you are starting to see things from another perspective. So for some of you, it may mean that whoever you're with here has maybe decided to move on themselves and you're still fighting for a relationship or fighting for a situation. It could be that you've been dating someone who now is not sure they want something long term. Um, and you may be moving away. But for others of you, there's this energy that you are just hanging on to the memory of someone rather than the person themselves. So you may have had some sort of separation with someone or some sort of energy of breakup with someone that you have had trouble letting go of. So you could have been with someone um, in a short or long term relationship and you're still hanging on to the memory of them. The universe is saying now it needs to go. You need to see things differently. Um, so perhaps you've been hanging there waiting for them to come back. Perhaps you thought if you stand your ground and fought for it, they would see your value. 
Um, but what I'm seeing here is the universe is saying that you need to take a different look at it now. It's not quite the same as it was. Alrighty. Okay, so we have the Nine of Cups coming through here with the Emperor coming through. Wow. Oh, and the Hierophant. For some of you, you haven't been able to see that your relationship, your marriage, whatever it was here is just... You haven't been... You're, you're hanging on to something here when you have more opportunities sitting there for you in the future. There's like all of these things waiting for you down the road, but you haven't been able to see them because you're, you're focused on something that's gone past its use-by date. There is a wish coming true here. For some of you, it's a divine partner and marriage or something um, that may be long-term and committed. There's something very heavenly about this. So it's like you're in some sort of situation here that is being divinely guided and you're fighting <laughs> against the universe here. That was the energy I got when I first picked up the cards. This energy of fighting against something, even though you know it's right for you. So even though you know you should be moving away from whatever you are doing, that you're still fighting for something that does not it's not right for you and you have something beautiful in your future here coming in it's right on the doorstep here and you're ignoring this because you're stuck on this past energy whatever it is all right so i have the chariot card coming through so you may be dealing with a cancer i also have pisces cancer virgo and aries here but strong um cancer energy and leo all major arcanas here. One, two, three, four, five major arcanas coming through Gemini. So whoever you're dealing with here, it's just nothing compared to this energy that's coming in in your future. Nothing at all. Look, I have the Empress and the Emperor in the same reading. So for some of you, this is a soulmate twin flame energy here in your future that's waiting for you six of swords so you're moving away from something let me put the last card down there's your truth so you're standing in your truth here i need to dissect this one and put some more cards on it i see you fighting against giving something up there's this energy here that you're fighting against the universe so it means that the universe is giving you messages and you're ignoring them and fighting for something that's that's done time to get off I feel that you could be dealing with a Cancer, Pisces or Scorpio here that you're leaving behind. The universe is saying you need to see that it's time to let go here. There is a truth that you need to see about your destiny here. And the judgment card says to me that something is coming around here for you to address. So this could be somebody that you are addressing from your past. Let me just get the energies here. So there is this feeling that you're going into hanged man mode. So you're understanding that where you are, you're finally sort of understanding that where you are is no longer right for you. There seems to be somebody here waiting for you to return or to recognize them. You've got somebody here in your future that's your wish come true. Whoever this person is, so much water is waiting for you to come back in and make this offer. This person is the empress to your emperor here. Um, I feel that you're starting to understand because I do see you getting that like with the moon card. It's like you're starting to understand your deeper emotions here. All right. So we have the transition card here coming through, which is the card of death with the knight of cups yeah beautiful all right i can go right in here now you've got an offer waiting for you in your future that will absolutely rock your socks off um, <laughs> there is this very strong feeling here that you have a divine partner waiting for you now this could be a twin flame it could be a soulmate whoever this person is waiting for you in your future 
has I feel been waiting for you for a long time so it could be someone you've been with before or it could be someone that's just meant for you um, because for me this is divinely guided this person is strongly coming through in your reading but you've been fighting to hold on to something that you need to let go of I do see forward movement and I do see you acknowledging your emotions here. Um, but with the sun here, it's saying you've got so much joy and happiness in your future. You're keeping yourself locked into the past. We do have the emperor and empress coming through in this reading, which makes me feel very strongly that this is a divine union. I love that you've got the wish card here too and the sun card and the hierophant. <laughs> So it's almost like you have this beautiful energy waiting for you, but you've got to release something from your past here. There is some need for you to go through some sort of transformation here, especially with this. So maybe you have some grieving to do about this past situation. Maybe it's difficult for you to let go of. Maybe you've been in this situation for a really long time. And maybe there is a period of time required here for you to take time out from the world. But I do feel I'm really drawn to the tower here. And I'm feeling here if you hadn't made this decision, the tower will come in to clear the energy. Because you're meant to be with this person here. This is where you're meant to be. Now, this might not be a person, like I said to you before, it may be the energy of grieving or letting go of somebody or something that's held you in place. But I feel very strongly with that seven of wands on the bottom that you've been resisting this change. But I do feel someone is here, look, to offer you something long term. So what you've been resisting is the very thing that you've been wanting. All right, let's have a look, Gemini, at an oracle card for you. I feel like you've been in some sort of situation here that you found it very difficult to release yourself from. And you've been clinging. Oh, we have the cloak again. Someone else got that. Okay. Around you there is a cloak of your own creation. Perhaps it has served you for a time as an invisible form of protection, as a way to claim needed solitude, as a way to retreat, retreat inside to find out what you truly feel, what you truly need, or to find yourself after being lost in an ocean of thought and emotion not always your own. Yet the time is fast approaching when you will no longer require that cloak, you have attained an integration within, a knowledge of self that makes it possible for you to connect with the world, with others, in a way that does not leave you lost and struggling to find yourself. You have learned how to hold yourself. You have learned how to do this well enough that you can successfully hold yourself and hold another too. You don't have to push the world away. You can invite it in and play. The message that this oracle brings to you is that you can safely release the bonds of security that you once held. You do not have to abandon your boundaries with others. Rather, your boundaries are so functional that you can enter into relationships with more openness, trusting that your boundary will naturally assert itself when necessary, giving you the connection to yourself that you need when you need it without having to withdraw from relationship entirely. It is time to trust your own boundaries and practice letting them help you while actively engaging in deeper relationship. You will have fun. And the little poem here says, loneliness is like a sheep in full set, like a sheep. <laughs> Sorry, I will start that again. Loneliness is like a ship in full sail with no wind and no place to go. I, the reason I sort of faltered on that was because I thought how important it was to just acknowledge that somehow or another you've been worried about releasing this past energy, whether it's a relationship or whether it's the memory of one. But you've been fearful about releasing it because you're worried about being lonely. When in reality, you have someone waiting for you here who's going to fulfill all your dreams. I do feel that once you've moved away from this energy, this new person's just going to come straight in the door. 
This is something that's going to happen almost instantaneously when you let something else go. So the universe is saying we have this gift here for you. Just release your past and we will bring it in. Thanks, Gemini. <laughs>